Good day everybody, it's just a quick video to show you how to install the Infini Solar RCT inverter to a 48100 batteries for BMS communication. Um, so on this model I'm using the Infini B4 5.6 KVA inverter. So while everything is off, um, before we switch on, we need to set up your master and your slave um, as these settings need to be done while the batteries is off. So for master, your second dip will be up, rest is all down. So in IT terms, zero, one, zero, zero, meaning first one off, second on, third and fourth off. For your slave battery, all of the dips is off. Now if you have a third or a fourth battery, also the dips will remain all at, to the bottom. Um, all slave batteries be set to zero, 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 zero. So we're ready to switch on. Batteries is already on. Press the power button. The unit engages. Powering off. Okay. So to start, we need to enable this inverter to search for a BMS communication. Press enter till the escape zero zero comes on. Go down to setting number fourteen. And it needs to be set to LIC. LIC is your third party BMS communication on these inverters. So we're ready to go. Now for the communications cable. These cables will come standard with the batteries. When you look for the cable, do look for either an expert king or just expert or the Infini Solar labeling. The two cables is basic is exactly the same. On the battery side, if you were able to see the color coding, unfortunately this plug is horrible, cannot really see much, but the color coding is normal networking. And for the BMS communication we need to use the two pin one and two, which in the end is your two oranges, uh, white orange number one and orange number two. So this cable labeled battery as with the normal networking code will go to the battery side to the in and then your communications cable the short one will run from the out of the master battery to the in of the slave battery. If you had a third or a fourth battery, the cable will then again run from out to in, out to in. So for the cable on the inverter side, as mentioned to you, you will use your two oranges. So from the battery side, pin number one, which is your wh uh, white Orange will come to the, the inverter side, pin number three, and then battery side, num pin number two, which is your solid orange, will come to this side's pin number five. As you can see, inverter just came on with a 61 warning. That is your telltale sign that communication is not established. The inverter is warning you there's no communication between the inverter and the battery. And for this is because I did not yet plug in this cable. Connecting this cable to the BMS side of the inverter 
and then we just wait for the 61 warning to clear now this can take a minute or two so do be patient if you know your cabling is right and your depth set is right all should activate so just give it some time there we go the 61 warning has been cleared and you can see the lithium iron light flashing the lithium iron flashing light is your telltale sign that communication is established and is bu busy talking busy running the setup is perfect and ready to go thank you very much